Hello everyone and welcome to tonight's Chatham Mainline preview and I'm joined tonight by Danny. Hello. How are you doing? So this, I, I've seen some people sort of uh, in the chat asking about it. So um, this is sort of a, a larger version of Chatham Mainline, isn't it Danny? Yes, it pretty much covers the original Chatham routes as well as Sheerness on Sea and from Gravesend yeah. and also to Blackfriars as well. Oh wow, so it's got quite a quite a long way then. Yeah. Uh, so we'll start with, we're in the first scenario, so... Oh, is Danny... Danny's really quiet apparently? Right, let me just mess about with some of the volumes a minute. Turn TS up a bit. Let's turn Danny up a bit. Right, let's see if that works. Well, is that a little bit better, chat? So, good evening, driver. Welcome aboard this class 46-9. Uh, 465-9. Uh, you will be taking this 465-9 uh, on a service from Faversham to Dover Priory, and we'll be calling at all stations today. This is a replacement service for the rear portion of 1S48, which was due to a short-form train today of four coaches. Please allow passengers aboard before departing. Alright, let's put the passengers on. Let's get the... Alright, I'm still quiet. He's still quiet. Oh. I don't know, because one person said it. Uh, let me just turn you up a bit more. That's about as nearly as high as it can go. So here we are, we are at Faversham. Oh, there we go. That's the Ramsgate train there again. Oh, that's quite interesting. <laughs> oh, there we go. My mic close to my face because it's a bit plastic. Yeah. And Chapman also has a 10th anniversary sticks on the side. Oh, there you go, yeah. Got the road now. Can't hear Danny at all. Am I that quiet? Uh, can you hear Danny now? Or have I turned you off? No, I've turned you off. I don't know what's going on, chat. Um, I've got it ramped up. I have no options for the microphone for my end, so. Just push Danny up to top. And then what I'll do is I'll turn me down a bit. Right, there we go. Better? Uh, your next stop will be s selling, and then it all stops at Dover Priory. Right, let's go. Apparently I'm still on mute. So I can't really shout, because then you'll be deaf. It's literally... Danny, can you just speak for me a second? What do you want me to say? Oh, it's, yeah, it's coming through, chat. I don't know, it's, the mic setting's not on my end, as people are saying. Can't hear Danny at all. Can you hear... I don't know what's going on. Very faint. Um, no, hang on a minute, hold on. Um, yeah, I've got everything whacked up. I've got everything whacked up. I 
settings, I've got Danny's, hang on. Yeah, no, there's nothing I can, there's nothing I can change on it. For some reason, you're really quiet. And I'm not sure how I'm going to change this. For some reason, it just does not want to know. Yeah, no, that's working okay. Ah, oh, value mixer. Let's just turn you right down and then turn you back up again. Just going to try something. Right, try now for me, Danny. That's only seemed louder for me. <laughs> Almost deafening. <laughs> oh, that was that was a lot louder for me then. Yeah. No. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I've literally tried everything, chat. Literally tried everything. I'm not sure what is going on. Yeah, it's because Danny's not talking at the moment. No game audio. Right. Give us a minute, chat. I'm so sorry about this. God knows what's going on. Um, okay, so TS is really quiet. Just, uh, hmm. You just speak for me again, Danny. Sorry. No, nope. not working. There we go. Right. <sighs> yeah. Audio input. Try again for me, Danny. Wow, that's really messed it up. What on earth is going on? Did it? <laughs> well, that isn't going to help. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry, chat. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Right. Two minutes, chat. Right, let's get rid of that one. Go to that one, go to that one. Uh, push desktop audio up. Try now. Even lower? No, I don't know what's going on. My P Sorry, chat. My PC has been playing up. And I'm literally, for some reason, I've literally got it pressed up. And yet it seems lower. That's weird. I don't know what's going on. Right. Try now. Ah, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. I saw it get a bit higher then. Is this still quiet or can anyone still hear me? You're certainly getting louder. He can't get... Yeah. 
The mic can't get any closer, chat. Sorry. It's plastic. I think it's sent to my camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is as high as I can get it, chat. I cannot get it any higher. I cannot get it any higher. I've I have got it as high as I possibly can. I've got everything turned up and yeah. <laughs> it's really not going well tonight, chat, is it? It's not very really... All these people approve of the upside down camera. Alright. No he chat it, they it, I can he sounds absolutely perfectly fine on my end, but it's literally, I'm not sure what's going on. Game audio. I've got it as loud as I can on my. <laughs> I was literally like, I'll have to take my headphones off if I get get it any louder. I'm testing it. No. Well, there is some train sound, but I don't know if I'm coming through. Well, I can hear myself though, so. Yeah. It's a little bit quiet, but. They hate the run sounds. Well, that's going to be. That's predicted. Right, let's do a horn. So people have been asking, is this uh, the TSW465? Yes, it is. Oh, it is? Ah, I wondered. This even has the detailed interior of that, too. Wow, look at that. The whole interior is like that, just not as fascinating to view. Get to go up to 90 now. Well, for about half a mile, because I've slowed down. Yeah. Yes, this train will stop at Kersney. It'll stop at every single station. Yeah. We're just running a little bit behind while I sort out my audio problems. <laughs> Am I allowed to comment about the sounds or is... Yeah. There are well... Uh, or we say we could use the TSW ones. Yeah. How easy is it to adapt an asset from TSW to TS1? It really depends on the asset. For a train, this is going to be a lot harder. But for a simple asset like a destination board, it's more simple and can take a couple of hours. In fact, you'll, you'll see one that's selling. Alright, stop now. Half the questions are when's it out? Uh, we haven't got a release date at the moment, um, but we'll uh, keep an eye on our usual channels um, and uh, we'll let you know when it's out. Try and actually stop in the right spot. Someone has asked, why do you drive with the HUD? Um, just for easiness while I'm streaming, so I'm not, you know, I'm keeping an eye on what, what chat is saying. Also, to show people, you know, what you, well, to show how to drive on the HUD, basically, as well. Alright, 
selling now. Such lovely traffic cones. Yes, I was going to say, there's a, there's a famous... Um, uh, um, there's a famous Facebook page, isn't there, and uh, Instagram page called Mash 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 that uses all traffic cones, don't they? I was to say Chatham, uh, near Chatham Station is a statue which is often covered in traffic cones. Oh, is it really? The question I have is, where did they get their coffee from? I'm not sure. Ramsgate Stover is not included. So I'll sh we'll just get moving and then I'll show you the map, chat. Can you change the destination board? I'm seeing a lot of questions about that. Can, but for some reason at the moment it doesn't show up on the front. So this is the full map, chat. Uh, let me just check my speed. Hang on. Derek doesn't like cones. I thought they'd be your favourite, Derek. You'd love them, really. So you've got um, Victoria up here. Uh, I think this is Black Fries up here, isn't That's it? Victoria. Yeah, Black Fries up there. You've got the area down here, all the way down. And we're currently running on this section here. So yeah, quite a long, a large area. Uh, not tonight, um, Ben Apple. Not tonight. It doesn't go through London Bridge. That is a different line. Cyclone, it doesn't include Tunbridge because it's not part of the route. It's not on its world well, I merged its route. Probably, maybe. Going a bit slow there. Well, it drops to 40 anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah, uh, no official release, uh, no, um, no release date as of yet, um, but we'll keep an eye on our usual channels um, and we'll let you know. Oh really? Oh wow. Well, we didn't do it myself. Yeah. I don't know why I'm slowing down for one. There we go. Too busy looking at chat. There we go. He's a lovely looking route though. So what was your favourite part of working on the route, Danny? Well I got to do my local stations, so, so I did the, originally this was part of a, a workshop route, at least the track from the establishment to Dover was used from that, mm. so my favourite part of working on it was actually doing my home village of Aylsham. Right. So I was finally glad to see that and Dover and Canterbury in the, in brain scene. Yeah. Someone mentioned Homemade Fallisham, which we did lay the track for, which is in here as well. Yeah, that's where we've just come from, haven't we? From Fallisham. Yeah. The Medway Valley Line is not included with this one. It has up to Puxton, but that's about it. Oh yes, yeah. This is complete. Perhaps 
Bram's team. No, why would we do that? We want to. That's not going to be that joke. <laughs> yes, the scenery is there to Ramsgate. Lovely. Not a foot crossing. There's also a bit of the line that goes via Canterbury West as well in here. Oh really? Oh wow. Well, at least Charlton is in there. Well, because I, I haven't been to this sort of end, I've, I haven't been to this sort of side of the country really. The furthest I've been sort of is 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 Chatham really. Um, to visit the office. Um, so this is all kind of new for me, really. Well, you've got the strangest in accents. So you've got normal Kent, then you've got Aylesham, which is northern for some reason, because of yeah. the coal mine. Oh, Kevin's asked me to move my mic closer. But I can't, Kevin. It's a bit of plastic. I can't bend it. So, Canterbury East is far superior. I know Canterbury West. No bias, of course. I think we're approaching Canterbury soon. Yeah, we are. Yeah, not far off now. Spot the cathedral, though, which Derek has made really well. I'll find that then. There's the A2. Oh, is that the A2, is it? Yeah. No, there is no line between Ramsgate and Clover on this route. Dee 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 dee. Oh, hello. Another line below there. Oh, hello. So, we've got another line. It actually goes all the way to Charlton. Right. Country West is in it, but it wasn't finished. What's this? Is this the old. This would be the old junction then going down to there then? Yes. Yeah. And there's the. There it is. There's the cathedral. Keep forgetting, though. There's a time delay. Uni in Canterbury. Three seven five now coming in. There you go. And I've overshot. <laughs> Using a lovely signal box. Yeah. Two minutes, let me just go back. <laughs> I've overshot. Clever old me. Margate will be on the route. The route covers London Victoria to Dover and from Ramsgate via Faversham as well as the line to Blackfriars, Orpington and the Catford Loop, as well as Sheerness on Sea. But to be honest, Dane John Gardens isn't really that great, and Cantry West wasn't finished in this build, so... That's an amazing signal box. Jamie, if you raise the camera up... Where's that? So You'll see a wall with, with some turrets. Where's that? You look to the right. Someone's asked to see Dane John Gardens, which is Oh there we go, there it is, I see it. So basically beyond that wall is that's not not that detailed because it's not really that close. I see what you mean, yeah. So this would be all gardens in here basically. Ah. The difference is between this route and the freeway route, this one's actually finished. 
Whereas if, if I did this as a freeware, it probably won't be finished in 50 years at the current rate. It does look really good though. I'll give him in the office. As much as I'd love to have two monitors behind me. Got to open the windows as well. station with a nowhere with nothing there so can't really, really say much about it. <laughs> oh really? Wow. Doesn't even, doesn't even have a station building. Well, it has a, an office but that's about it. Has anybody seen so no one spotted that yet? No one spotted Sean the sheep yet. Ticker as me, which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Ali, uh, yeah, Ali Shim, um, I've probably pronounced that wrong. Um, so we're currently there, so we're two stops away. Born Addisham, Aylesham, Snowdown, Shepherdsville, Kersney, and Dover Priory. Not that <laughs> you've remembered that off memory, haven't you? <laughs> That's only because I used to travel by train on this route, so I, can, so I know, used to know the route off by heart. Oh, really? So, wow. If you start at Dover, it's Kersney, Shepherdsville, Snowdown, Aylesham, Addisham, Beaksbourne, hmm. Canterbury, Selling, Faversham, Tenham, Sittingbourne, Newington, Raynham. Gillingham, Chatham, Rochester, Soul Street, Mepham, Longfield, Farningham Road, Swanley, St Mary Cray, <laughs> Bickley, Bromley South, Shortlands, Beckenham Junction, Kent House, Penge, Sydenham Hill. Wow. West Dulwich, Herne Hill, Brixton and London Victoria. Now the question is, has we actually stood on any of the, all those stations? That's the next question. Probably have. Maybe. I don't think we've stood on the ones close to London, except... That's... So not DWD then. What's DWD? What's that? Someone's put, so not DWD. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that one. I probably have been to Dover Western Docks, but it closed when I was 10 years old, so... And now coming in. But Dover, but Dover Western Docks have long since closed, so they wouldn't be on this route anyway. I see what you mean, it is literally like in the middle of nowhere, isn't it, the station? I mean, the only reason why that building was modelled is because it's pretty much one of the very noble feature of the station. Yeah. And again, it's a great model by Kevin as well. So would you say this station is just mainly for this village here then? I think it's more to the right. And of course there is a zoo as well. Oh, oh, is there a zoo? Is there? Oh, wow. But it's not represented in, in the route. Hmm. Must mean the platforms look really good as well. I mean, some of the signs were take were based off photos. So the platform signs, for example, not, not that one. As in, there's signs which say platform one and two. Oh, these ones, yeah. No, no. If you go back to the footbridge. Oh, I know the ones. These ones, that's the one. 
those ones. Yeah. They are really nice, I like that. Still a question though, where did they get their coffee? I just pass them just for coffee, but you don't know where you get them from. No, I know. I wish I knew where they get them from. I'm getting nice hot chocolate. Stop is Addison. Yep. Yeah, chat, who's excited for the route then? Go on, tell us. You all excited? Moggy wants a, mo a mocker. Okay. A mocky mo A moggy mocker. Moggy mocker. Good, good. Sometime after this bridge is where the scenery, where I started the scenery, so I think. Oh, British Ace is here. Hello, British Ace. How you doing? Mam's gate depot. Okay. <laughs> Moggy, good one. Good one. So, not sure what that'll do. With, a, with the best mug. So I know a lot of people will be asking what sort of, what rolling stock do you get with the route? Do you know which locos, etc., and units you get? Well, there's no locos that come with a route. Right. Because they're all EMUs. Yeah. Well, it's basically a lot of 375s. Yeah. Various liveries, the slash 3, 6, 7, 8, well, sort of 9, it's just a reskin of an 8, but yeah. for number wise, it's a 9. Yeah. As well as the 377 slash 1 and 3 for Southern. Yeah. And the Southeastern 377 slash 5 as well. Yeah. And of course, the 465 slash 0 and 1, and the yep. slash 9. Yeah. And of course, the class 395, which has a few texture tweaks on the outside. Yeah. Wow, so you get quite a lot then. That's brilliant. I am gaining time. We are getting there. I am gaining time. There are a couple of questions asking, will this be discounted for those that own the route? Uh, we're not sure on, the, on all of that at the moment, um, but um, when we release it, you will know all the full information there. GNS is on there, it's like common. But this route is updated to more recent, so GNS branch is 2012, but this one is more recent, so there are differences. And I see emergency break. Yep. <sighs> That's good timing, though. So. I mean, to be honest, if I can get the last coat, oh, nearly. I mean, I've only got to pull forward a little bit, so it's all right. It's not so bad. But it's one of those ones where if you go straight into emergency, you can't do anything until it's completely stopped. Yes. Let me just open the doors there. They'll just have to walk. It's fine. Right, Ash where... Ashford is not included. Here it is. Here is the very famous... No. Well, famous with... Oh, the wonky sign. Yeah. And you were saying that's there in purpose, so that is actually a wonky sign, realistically. Oh, there was a great comment which I saw. The modelling is excellent in, in train sim. It almost looks as good to be a TSW route. Oh wow, well, that's brilliant! Well, it's always good to comment on the better train sim. I mean, train sim one. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I get death threats from the TSW team. <laughs> Just don't tell Matt that. <laughs> well, I've said it to him. Oh, have you? <laughs> well, fair enough. 
I know that TSW does look better, to be fair. It's just, I just do it in more in jest. I think, to be honest, as I always say, depends on what you want to do. And both sims, you know, show uh, are fantastic for different things, you know. So that's why um, I like both of them. And of course, the best station on the entire route is the next station. Right. No bias at all, of course. <laughs> None, of course. I think there may be some people in the chat that may like this station. Well, sadly, the school was missed at the end. No, Moggy, not East Croydon. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, once we've stopped, I'll show you the route map again. If you're wondering why I keep looking over this side, the chat's on this side, so that's why I keep looking over that side. Uh, stop! My house has been placed, but it's not accurate, because it's a bit far away from the track. Look at this. Stop. Look, I just need to stop at the end. Oh, there we go. That'll do. We're there. This is really nice. So you got a. It's quite big. It's quite a big place. All that. All these roads are brand new. Oh really, when yeah? I, when I used to live there, they weren't there. So all these roads here, basically, with the little roundabout down the bottom. So, what's not in the route, so you can see an empty green bit. That's where the St. Joseph's Primary School would be. Ah. Little fenced off hedge area, which is where it would have been. Here, yeah. I see where you are, yeah. It's a shame, my dad would have loved this route. Right. There you go, Richard asks how many miles is the route altogether? It's quite a fair chunk, I think it's like well, well over a hundred. So curious, I did this area, so it helps knowing quite a few of the local buildings. They're quite short places, uh, short stops, aren't they? Quite close together. At least, Aylesham and Snowdown are about half a mile apart, so... Wow. Of course, Snowdown is often confused with a Welsh mountain. Yes. There is no release date as of yet. Now coming in. I think this is probably the only... I say village is actually Hamlet. Hamlet in the game, which has a ha which has house of house placed in it in the route, but it's so small. Blackfriars is as it is now. There we go. But if you look to the left, there's an old coal mine. All right, so this is the old coal mine here. I'm on the right side. You are a little bit behind. Oh. Although it seems not to be the most recent, which is interesting. Yeah, I am on slightly, uh, slightly older build, I think, than what you you're on, Danny. I think. I shall double check that one to make sure it's there, but. 
but there was an asset built for that, so... Tommy World, yeah, sure. Let me just go and get in, jump in the cab. Here is the cab. Got a nice cab. I know someone asked for the route map. There we go. So we're going down to Dover Priory down here, and um, but you've got the branch to or the area to Ramsgate down there, uh, and then we've got the Sheerness branch up here, and then this is the Gravesend area up here. Hello. <laughs> Was that you, Danny, who did that? I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Just a dog sitting on top of the tractor like that. I know it's going to be us. Sadly, we couldn't put the East Kent Light -like Railway in. Would this be here, is it? No, it would be to the... well... It's next to Shepherd's Well. Mm. Someone says don't go to Margate. Why not? Why don't go to Margate? Or does he mean the route doesn't go to Margate, possibly? No, just someone that don't go to Margate. Someone's asking for the passenger view. Uh, once we've stopped, I'll have a look at the passenger view. Asking for the windscreen wipers, but we're upset, Moggy. <laughs> well, for the most part, it's a brand new frame. Granted, it's from TSW, but it's still brand new to train s the train sim. So this is uh, some people. Uh, this is where the East Kent railway would be here, basically. Yes. But sadly, we couldn't include it ah, okay. for various reasons. No, this route does not go to Tunbridge. What logos do you get when you buy it? What do you mean? All the trains are southeastern, so you get two four six fives. So one with the yellow doors as well. It's a cab view. If someone was asking. Uh, sorry, passenger view even. tunnel now. And then we've got two more stops and then we'll do another part of the route then. Just outside the tunnel is a, bit, is a village called Lidden where there used to be a station. Alright. But I don't think there's anything left of it now. There used to be a footbridge until a few years ago. Hmm. Uh, Chief, we're doing um, up to London Victoria next. So 
So the station used to be here then. See? Well, just round the corner. You'll see a road coming up to the right. After the cliffs you got down. So probably about here ish. Yeah. Considering it's straight here, it makes sense. Was that a beach enclosed, was it? Not actually sure. I, I know it was there, but it's long before my lifetime, so... It does look really nice. A lot of lovely trees. There's a certain thing in... When you get into Dover, there's a certain object on a hill somewhere. Someone's asked about there's a castle. I'm trying to find the castle. It's more in Dover. There's more in Dover, is it? Right. But yes, it will be Dover Castle. It should be there. But then you didn't have Snowdown Colliery, so it may not be there yet. Yeah. Someone's asked what London terminals are included, so London Victoria and London Blackfriars. We're, we're not showing Blackfriars tonight purely because I'm on a, um, a, an older build uh, of the route, um, but we'll, um, uh, there will be, um, oh hello, I speed change of mine or something, no it's alright. I'm guessing because the next signal's a yellow, that's a repeater. Oh it is isn't it, yep. Just notice an original sign. Look at that. That's nice. It's a lovely route. Yeah, so don't forget, uh, chat. I'm on a dev build currently, so this isn't, um, uh, as, uh, as Danny has said, there's a couple of things that we haven't got in this build, so um, uh, there will be some changes. I think one one train maybe runs from this way to Blackfriars, or at least it used to. Well, I'm actually sure they do at the moment because of COVID, but... Yeah, I like those sign pep being a fan, I think that's quite nice. There's a speed change. All the stations should have those now, well, assuming of course version with them all updated, which I hope. Another cone down there. slowly coming in. So what's this one coming in here? What would this be? That would be the line to Ramsgate which is not included but it does basically the track 
is a very goes around a very very tight curve. Right. There's also a one in seventy. Oh so wow, blimey! You can probably see it going round the top. So that's wow. That's how tight it is. So that will be over here somewhere then. Yeah. There it is. And then you can see it climbing away there. Also, my secondary school's in there, uh, which I sneaked in. Oh, is it? <laughs> wow. Well, it's not really, it's just an office building, but it's close to the death. It looks like you don't have the castle. No. Don't think I do. Going in platform three. Force engineering works. That's when they go to Blackfriars sometimes, or used to. Yeah, because I can't remember the terminus they normally go to. What was the name of that one? From here, it's normally Victoria. Normally, well, Victoria. From Dover, at least. Right. Well, Dover goes to St Pancras, Dover, and. Well, there's some trains go to Cannon Street as well, so. Yeah. Or Charing Cross, which I should know. There we go. Traffic cone. Yeah, it's spot the traffic cones, isn't it? You see that lovely steep hill? That's right. That's the walkway to the left of the station. Right. I used to go up that all the, almost every other day. Wow. Not so great if you're late. No, uh, quick. There we go, we've made it. Yes, 465s do run to Dover. I didn't know 395s ran to Dover. Do they, they as well? Go. Yeah, they go through the tunnel the other way, and also some go, go to Ramsgate. Right. Another nice signal box as well. It's With got the most important thing on it. What's that? Network South East. I was, do you know, funnily enough, I was going to mention that because I looked at the top and I was like, ah, it's Network South Eastern. So, well done, driver. You have arrived on time and given the passengers plenty of time to change trains. Time to put your feet up and have a cup of tea. Lovely. Right, let's go on to the next scenario. Of course, a big shout out to Andy who made Dover Priory Station. It's looking good. Two minutes, chat. Although amazingly, I scored absolutely nothing. Right, let's go over to the next scenario, which is. Thank you, Joe. Ramsgate to London, Victoria. But starting at Rochester. Starting at Rochester, yep. <laughs> Should have a look at the slightly updated scenery on the route. Yep. Scenarios in three parts, mostly because full length would be two hours. Good so morning, driving. Oh, sorry. sorry. Carry on. You yeah. carry on. You carry on. <laughs> so basically, the first part is Dover to Faversham. The second part is Ramsgate to Rochester. With collecting the carriages at Faversham, and then this part is Rochester to. 
Victoria. Right. Good morning, driver. Welcome to this class 375-6 and 375-3 11 car electro star. Today you'll be driving the last part of the Ramsgate to Andover Priory to London Victoria service. Uh, of the journey today will be called at uh, Mepham. Mepham. Mepham, Longfield, Bromley South and London Victoria which will be complete the service day. However, there are no expected issues on the way. You have picked up the passengers in part two and you can head off to Mepham. Mepham. Mepham? Scenery is done. Let's just... I'm guessing this part was chosen on purpose. Sadly, due to a fault in the signal ahead, you will ask for permission. Press tab. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Pass signal. Lovely, lovely bridge. Oh, hello. With a castle as well. Oh, hello, the submarine's there as well. All the trees have been updated. I oh, have they, yeah. So... Anyone that has the London Chillingham assets as well will also have an update to the trees. Right. It's an amazing uh, network down this way, I must admit. It's quite. Alex, well, we just run it. I, I chose these two scenarios um, purely because of time length, so we can show one end of the route and the other end. Um, and then um, we're also doing, I think we, uh, you wanted to do a rail fan, didn't you, Danny, as well? Yeah. Shows more of the other trains included. Right. have a more recent version than I thought because you've got the cable trials to the left. Alright. Well this one, yeah. Wasn't that big white thing? Yeah. It's like clone I can't answer that because I don't know. I think Blackfriars is finished on the build that Jamie has. No, it, yeah, the, the the build I I have got is quite an older one. Um, so I'm on a dev build currently, uh, Chief uh, Jack. So, um, so, unfortunately, I can't show you Blackfriars at the moment. Yes, I'm a DTG employee. I'm essentially a route builder, but also a senior artist for TS1. I also have done a few merged routes on Steam Workshop, which you probably know about. I'm oh, getting a move on now. But my main job is a route builder, so 
I make scenery as such. Now we're going under HS1 now, aren't we? And there's Diggerland. And Diggerland. This is Diggerland. That is literally called Diggerland. Wow. It was and here is HS1. There is. Of course, there is one positive to this route as well. What's that? Which means, to finally mean that Southampton Thames Nick will be closer to being finished. Yes! So I'm sure there's quite a few people cursing me for that one not being finished. <laughs> I just blame Moggy. Yeah, everybody blames Moggy. And sadly, Moggy, there is no ice cream in the freezer. Is it because of the time of the year? They got something else in there now. Like your log or something like that. Oh, he's got ham and salmon. Oh, yes, yeah. The next stage will be Soul Street, which you'll go straight through. Yeah. It's quite hilly. I'm a you know, I'm quite surprised by the Kent area. I thought your rocks were chocolate. Someone said they're fire. Oh, unless I'm thinking of something else. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Cyclone. That's a good one. I'm sure there is a lot of people who do that. Well, that being said, QA had that. Yeah, they had a, there's a big TV, which I can see at the end of the office, which... Right. They had to set as a fireplace. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. I know you can do it in a Tesla now, can't you? Have a Tesla car and sit there in the back. Didn't know that. Oh, hello. Oh. What? Um. That didn't happen on my version. Yeah. I am just going to check that, because that... I think you probably might have pressed the buff pantograph button by mistake. That's probably why. Although I'm completely losing speed now. Yes. If you press shift and P, it should fix it. So, turn that off. Yeah. So we turn off the panto, then press shift and P. So I turned it off, shift P, yeah, nothing happens. If you look at this, the left option on the left, in your cab, there's shoes up and down. Up. Up. Oh, oh yeah. Side. Hang on, I'm looking at the, am I looking at the right, oh, here we go. So you wanna shoes down, pan down. down. Yeah, because I'm supposed to be stopping here. <laughs> Can I at least get one coach on? Probably oh. not. Um, <laughs> that's pretty impressive. I did get one coach on. Look at that. 
Oh dear, what well, we got there? Was that really a network? No, I did I did a Natalie, full on Natalie there. Let's just push back. Two, yeah, exactly, yeah. Too busy concentrating on the pantographs and not concentrating on actually what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, any there, though. So I guess there's a rarity being an 11 car train. Yeah. Notice the red thing. What's that? The red grit bin. Oh yeah, there you go. That looks like a piece of red. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Got some good old posters as well. Look at that. And just in case the panto isn't a bug. You must have accidentally pressed it. I pressed it on here, that was why. I pressed it on the HUD. Rather than actually going through the system. Sorry, Pepe, are you fan yet? <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> very true, yeah. With passengers, please move forward. First 10 coaches. No, first 11 coaches, even. Probably. Oh, it's 11 car train. I was 11, sorry, yeah, it is. My bad. The front one was a free carriage. Oh, yes, it is, yeah. Because in the first scenario, you have the free car train from Dover. Oh, uh, we see. So this is basically from three or four dif d different destinations, and then they join together. Well, basically, it's free car from Dover to Faversham, and eight car from Ramsgate to Faversham in part two. I uh, see, right. Well, for this route, it's me that did all the scenarios, so I'll just put that out there so people can blame me for it. Make sure I actually stop at Longfield this time. The route is set at least 2018 to modern. Or at least 2016 to modern. I did note the point that, that Soul Street you mentioned. Unfortunately, it's too late to change that one. Coming in nice and steady now. Oh, hello. <laughs> that is a great poster, that. It's too late because if we change track now, there's a risk of breaking scenarios. Yes, I know it's easy to change the points. That's not the issue. Dee 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 dee. Right. Make sure we actually get in the platform this time. It is Pebby and you fam. Pantographs are now down, look. Oh, it's because I messed something up within the cab, so it's fine. That was my error, rather than the game. Surprised no one said it's the, it's behind you yet. <laughs> Oh, 
There we go. Doors are down. Doors are open. There we go. So we got then Bromley South and then London Victoria. Uh, 465 is now on its way. Fiberless trains. Yes. Yeah. So we are 10 minutes away from Bromley South. Let's have a look. So we are all the way up there. So we're currently running on this section of the route now. So we were down here before, running along this section. This route also includes. Unfortunately, nothing have been. The junction plans been changed, so they're probably still too sharp, unfortunately. Oh, is it Taze? Oh, awesome! Yeah, so just to let people know when this, um, uh, when this, uh, for people who already have the, um, original Chatham lines, this is a standalone. So this isn't an extension, um, or anything like that. This is a standalone. So the new update is just cable trunk. No, it's not. There are also updated trees as well, and the stations have been updated. But most, a lot of it is still the same with only minor updates to it. So I think Moggy, I think you will probably having fun with this route as well then. Quite some heavy gradients, I must admit. I'm still very quiet. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not. I'm. I'm trying. I've tried to do sort it. I'm. I'll have to have a look at it through my PC. Uh, chat again later. I'm not sure what's going on with it. I, I've had a few problems with it recently, so. Um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, Medieval Excel, I've tried turning everything up and it's still not working, so I'm not sure. Um, my end, it seems to sound fine, so... Um, and he's showing up, that it, he's coming up on the audio, but it's, it's... Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on.
Yeah, I know. I've 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 tried messing about with it, but it's not it's not happy. <laughs> Swanley, we've just been through. Is um is the Chatham main line then all ninety miles an hour? Uh, Danny. I think at most it's ninety. Yeah. Was there any reasoning behind that, do you think, or...? No, is it... although, an interesting fact for you. Yeah. The lines you're on now are actually the slow lines. Right. The lines to the left are actually the fast, but they're used for vice opposites. Right, okay. That's what may be interesting. So they, they used to be the other way around, but they've changed, is that right, or...? Yes. Right. It's like claim the Babisham scenarios won't work on this street. Because some of the names have changed. So instead of saying P1 or P2, they'll say Platform 1 or Platform 2. That one wasn't my choice. Dee 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 dee. updates include platform textures and rope textures as well. Oh really? So it's had quite a few updates then, of the main trunk anyway, of the route. Well it doesn't seem like there's been many updates. The overall scenery probably hasn't changed as much, except mm -hmm. the stations, there may be the, the cluster has changed with yeah. newer benches and some of the newer clutter. I think yeah. once we're is it once we're thrown up by streets, they've mm -hmm. got new London Overground benches as well. Oh really, yeah. So it's really, it's, it's, it's updated the route for the modern era, basically. It's updated to what, you know, um... The it should have, oh sorry, Aaron. I was, I was just going to say that it's, it's updated to the sort of the route how it is now, you know, how it would be, um, you know, sort of the stations have got the clutter that looks more realistic for now, if you see what yes, I mean. Yeah. For the most part, the scenery looks very similar, with only a few minor changes, a few buildings here and there. Right. But, for example, Rochester and Battersea will have, will have a lot more buildings. Mm, mm. Well, I'm not sure if you'll see it, because it's only added today. All right. The all the signs that serve Thameslink also now have the Thameslink signs, so FLU, RLU, and all. Oh right, and oh, wow. It's a late edition by Derek, so... Something that this route has that Chatham doesn't have is Catford Bridge is also now us usable, so you can go from Catford to Bridge. Catford Bridge down to Lower Sydenham to New Beckenham to Beckenham Junction. Well, so quite a lot. Yeah. Hello, we got a race on our hands. I can't talk to me. If you remember <laughs> correctly, is it, you'll be approaching a train in front of you, if you're not late, of course. Oh, I've got greens. I think the train in front will be stopping at Bromley, so you may get yellow, maybe. It's quite a busy area here. Another green. Hello, it's a pink bus. I've noticed a pink. There's a pink bus. There you go. There's Matt's favourite thing in the world, a pink London bus. 
There's also a green one too. Yep, yeah, there is. And an older remaster. Yeah, I did see that. Just slow. Just gonna have a quick nibby look. There's the there's the older route master. There we go. Look at that. Awesome. Now coming into Bromley South. I'm going to be late at this rate because I've slowed down too much. So all the stations have had small cluttered fleets, so car stop signs, posters, mm. destination boards. Of course, on here you can't see them yet, the Thames Inc. signs as mentioned. Yeah. And of course, the lobster card. Lobster card. Because we can't have oyster, so we have there lobster is. instead. I'd be lost without my lobster. <laughs> Made by Kevin. Look at that. Brilliant. We got the set in, lovely. So there's another coloured unit, you can see the difference there, look. That's the three seven seven slash five. Look at that bright. It's slightly, slightly different colour because it was painted in first capital connect colours previously. Oh I see, right, that makes sense. Uh, Transport fan one. Um, I can't show you Black Friday because this is uh, it's quite an old build, so it's not. Uh, it wouldn't be in this build. Um, but um, as I'm on an older build to what is there, there is currently. I couldn't get the uh, newer build as I, I wanted. Need another unit coming in. There you go. As we depart, another one comes in. Look at that. Chief Jack, uh, I don't think there will be any more uh, streams for this, but we will um, uh, keep an eye on our schedule because um, we uh, think there's uh, yeah, some streams. Um, but we'll have all updates on that. I think this will be the... Uh, Chief Jag, I think this is the only stream we have uh, planned for this at the moment. Going over here. So this is Beckenham Junction then, is it? Yes, I think yeah. this junction was created for the Eurostar originally, when it used to run this way. Oh really? Okay. Sort of fly under to stop the long trains from blocking the mainline services. Right. I should think that was an interesting timetable they had to try and keep. To try and fit the mainline services and the Eurostar in together. Yes, that short runs junction. I think you said Beckenham Junction. Yeah, I did, yeah, sorry. That's because I saw the place and I thought, oh, is that the same? But it's not. But Beckenham Junction is the next junction, so. Yeah. You got. 
that joins the right to New Beckenham. Right. Towards Lewisham and the track underneath going down to Hayes. And of course the tram as well. Wow. But sadly we don't have any trams for this route. Oh, is that the trams there? There you go. Is that where they would be? Along there? Yeah. Find it well. The southern train just come in. Yeah. I'm hoping when you pass when you pass West Dulwich you'll see another couple of southern trains depending on how well they appear. Yeah. So that tram line goes all the way around there then? Yes. So I think you've shown this on the stream before, you showed up to the next station. Ah, oh, yes, I remember it now. There's another southern. That's not a southern. That's a southeastern in southern colours. That's 377, 163, and 164. Right. The only two that currently have that livery. Oh really? Oh, so that was a unique spot then. There we go. I placed that in a couple of scenarios. Yep. I mean, we have the livery in the original route, so why not use it? That's how I see it, at least. Well, do you think it's a permanent switch? South East have it forever. They just haven't decided to repaint it yet. Well, until recently it was the same company, so... Oh, really? Right. South Eastern was stripped of a license. Oh, of course! Yes, of course. I forgot about that. Your tunnel... It is 6.8 miles from London, Victoria. So you're currently this section, so you obviously we can go that way as well. I mean, she's so funny. Sorry, so funny that Kevin just spotted. On his Twitch it says chat, follow or subscribe, Twitch is your oyster. With, with the lobster oyster thing earlier. Oh really, does it? I don't think 707s would go this way though. I think they go from... Cannon Street and Charing Cross to Dartford and Orpington that way. They wouldn't go on this route, I don't believe. Right. Someone asked about the 707s and 700s. Yeah, yeah. But nothing's been announced for either, so... No. No. The way I always found the 700s had uncomfortable seats. I don't know. I, I thought that too when I first got on one. And then the next train I got on was a class 466 for about 20 million school kids. Ah. Too so pleased to have a seat, to be honest. <laughs> Mark, as they always say, never say, you know, but if we have any news on it, we'll have some news. But uh, there's no, uh, no announcements on it. There's no, you know, we, we don't have any news on the Air 700. If we did, we would let you know. Well, Deep, how do they compare to your all time favourite 319? Also, keep an eye on the bridge ahead, you may see trains go above it. Do, 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 Wherever do, the do, bridge do, may be. It's up here, did you say? There's a railway bridge that goes across. It goes from Tulse Hill to Peckenham. Pe Peckenham? Peckham Rye. Oh, you go. You can see a southern train going across. Look. There you go. Surprised how well I should time that well. There's another one going the other way. Yeah.
Where would the 707 go on PDR? Would it be just Woking? Because I don't think it would go towards Portsmouth. Just in time. Single yellow now. Because you're following another train. Oh, are we? Right. When I first tested this scenario, the, the Brixton signal caught me out. Oh, there's a shard over there. As I caught pointy eyesore. <laughs> Mark, as we always say, we'd love to do all the trains and all the all the all the units and and everything like that. But um, yeah, as I said, if there was any news on a seven hundred, we would let you know. But uh, there is nothing, nothing currently. Michael, I'm doing well. Hope you're okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, why would people? Why would people want a train with what that drives itself? I'm not sure on that one. Someone's asked for 700 with fully functional ETO. Probably so they can sit back and watch it do it. Probably. Well, then again, you could do, technically do, do that with the IC trains. Well, yeah, with um, uh, LZB. The signals are really close together on here, aren't they? Well, the closer to London you get, the closer they are. Hmm. I suppose it's so they can stack them, can't they? Yes. Yeah, welcome to, yeah, that's a good one, Moggy. Welcome to London, home of close signals, yeah. Uh, Fiora, it's uh, H high speed one, so um, we, uh, uh, it was obviously being the first high speed railway, so they call it high speed one, uh, which runs from uh, London to St Pancras, um, all the way down to the Euro Tunnel, um, and that's sort of HS1. Speaking of up updates, I think it's the next station. Uh, the next station's had a, that's had a small update to it, and the area around it, so it looks a little bit better than what it was. Things like the benches as well have been updated. These signal distances were why Southern had to had some unfitted freight trains running as slow as 10 to 15. Yeah, I, I can imagine. That must have been a nightmare, Moggy, if you were loco driver and you were holding back a steam loco. You know, must have been a nightmare. Because as soon as you put any power down, you know, with unfitted freight. Some lovely new benches at this station. I saw the London un Overground signs. There you go. Clapham High Street. You've got the rail card ones as well. And then the benches, yeah, I can see them. I've just got to keep an eye on what I'm doing, because if not, I'm going to spad. And we don't want to do that.
Oh, here we go, he's, uh... Oh... I've forgotten the name of the power station. Battersea, even. And, of course, the station that comes with it. It's Battersea Power Station Station. <laughs> Do any Thameslink trains come with Dury? Sadly, no. Nope. No. This is the Sea of Junctions. There's a few, asked, a few people asked about merged routes. So what I'm going to say is maybe. Depends on time. No, it's not nice to get the track to water, you don't want that. You see a lot of construction going on here, which is actually what's going on, really. If Battersea Power Station is Battersea Power Station Station, would that mean London Bridge is London London Bridge? <laughs> it would, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hello. Mark, it's current. Sorry. <laughs> I was just say 2016 to present. Yeah. So that covers in case we've accidentally missed something. I know there's been comments about junctions are too sharp, and there's a junction which is slightly out of place, but sadly we can't fix those at the moment. Yes, it's easy to fix, but we can't fix it because it may cause other issues. Scenarios, etc. Even though some have said, yes, it's an easy fix, it is, but that's not generally the issue. Drop down to 20 now. Well, we have made Stone East in a route. Doesn't really count, I know. And there's the BTP. I know. Oh, you. Well, that went well. It's okay. We're off again. Just Thank you. Contribute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I meant Maystone East. Maystone East is on a route, just you can't drive to it. Maystone East is actually in the Medway Valley route. So would you say then, Danny, that this end is more southeastern in Victoria, and then this end is more southern? So they, or is it that they just divide it up by where it is in the country? It's mostly southern. Okay. There is one person saying nothing has changed on the route, despite the fact there's quite a bit of change. Just they don't want to see it. Yeah, there's there is there's been a lot of. Uh, there has been a lot of changes. Um, we obviously um, there will be some changes that aren't implemented, um, but we have got quite a few changes. So we've got, as Danny's been saying, we've got quite a few uh, foliage changes. Um, obviously, we've got the extension to the other parts. Um, you get new rolling stock um, with the four six five nine um, bits and pieces like that. So it's quite a, a quite a major upgrade. The track work hasn't changed, yes. But there's only so much we can change in the time we had. Yeah. I would 
the buff to fix a lot of the track work, but when you start changing one bit, of, when you start changing one track, then leads to another bit and another bit and another bit. Yeah. Yeah, it takes it takes a lot to do, you know. Um, it's, it takes a lot to do root upgrades, um, you know. Um, I think Mark, yes, I think a lot of the signalling has changed, hasn't it, Danny? I, d I did notice there were a lot more newer signals. I, d I thought, um, unless I could be wrong, but I, th I think it's as late as the plans we had at the time. So right. Signaling probably hasn't changed as much. This route wasn't rushed, it was to get set times to deliver the route. There we go. Right, we're in. We are in, there we go. Right, and what we'll do is we will then do a, you wanted to do a, uh, what was it, rail fan, wasn't it, as well. So, um, and I'm actually in on time, would you believe? Uh, Joe Bellring, no, we haven't shown Ramsgate. Where was the, uh, the dry, uh, the viewing you wanted to see, Danny? It was Fallisham, but if you want to show Margate, you can. Margate? Should we show Margate, shall we? Yeah? Okay. Oh, yeah, we'll show Margate. They were asking for Ramsgate, but I'm not sure there's a uh, rail fan for Ramsgate, is there? I'm not sure. I suspect you may not have the latest for Margate, so maybe missing a slight bit. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, we can't really. Sh yeah, we'll we'll just carry on with what we were planning on doing, just because we know this is. The, but the problem is, is as I said, I'm on an older, I'm a uh, an older version of. Uh, there's a newer current build, um, but we are. Um, uh, we are. Uh, the, I couldn't get it in time for the stream, basically. Uh, we've had one or two issues. Obviously, my sound's been playing up. Um, so, but, um, um, yeah, just... You can see where we are with the route. There is some things that still need... Um, uh, that we still can't show because they, they haven't been uh, put in. So, we're at, at time of sort of recording this. There's, there's a few... There's a new another build that needs to come in which has got some changes. Um, but, uh, right, we'll go on to the next bit I wanted to do. Yeah, they do look odd, don't they, Taze? I, d I don't know what it is. What, what, Danny, do you know why the 465s are like that? Because they're very similar to another class of locomotive uh, a, a unit, which I, I can't even remember what they're called. Um, why do they have... Is that because of the way they're connected? Is it sort of like buffer ends for them? I mean the, the shape of the front. Yes, yeah. Well, that is the network uh, style. So the 166 to 165, originally the 365s as well had this similar front. Yeah. It was Favisham you wanted me to go to, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. Right. We haven't actually done a rail fan in ages, I don't think. I can't remember the last time we did a rail fan. Welcome to rail fan mode, you blah 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 blah. Right, here we are. Let's have a look around. So we've got a 375 there, is that right? Yep. Um, and then we've got a 395, and you were saying there's been quite a few textural changes on there. Doesn't show on that one because it doesn't have the ten year anniversary on it. But oh. It doesn't have that because this scenario is set a bit older. Right. And this is what they do is they, this is where they join the units together or they separate. You can see they're separated here. Yeah. So is this? Pardon? Yes. So the train will come in about four or five minutes and join up with that one, which is parked on the platform. Parked here. Yeah. So these two units here have just separated, basically, these two. Oh, okay, yeah. there we go. So the front one should disappear. The front one's now disappeared. 
Obviously, Danny's just a few minutes behind me, so. Three nine five going off. Nice to see it in the snow, though. Who's hoping for snow for Christmas? <laughs> this station has had an update itself. The, the model is completely not not completely burnt. A lot of new bits added to it and fixtures. Mm. I must admit, I noticed all the new posters and bits and pieces. It does look really nice. Also, the benches have changed as well. So, so they got the the more cargo. I've sat on one of these. Funnily enough, I was sitting on one of these actually when I went to the Romney Hyde and Dimchurch. Um, sat on there. And the platforms have been extended. Yes, I think you can. Oh yeah, because we've got a long 395 coming in now. Which will be a 12 car unit coming in? Is it longer than that? No, it's longer than that. It's 12. It's 12. 6 and 12. Yeah. Yes, there are new departure boards. As I said, this is an honour... Uh, um, uh, as I said, I'm on an older build, so the PIS might not be working in this. Um, Sadly, they won't work. I won't they? they won't. Okay. It was me that brought them into the into the game from TSW, and sadly, I don't have the skills to do animated textures, so I'm not really a modeler. Right. Okay. So they will be in, but they won't be working. If you see what but I mean. They are better than than what was there before, so. Well, that, that, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I must admit, you've done some really good work on this, Danny. Very, very well done. Because it's, it's, I know it's a big task, you know, it's, it's, you know, um, to, to upgrade a route and to add bits that you, you, you know, with the time that you have and, and bits and pieces, you know, it, it's, 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 yeah, it's a good. It looks really good, you know. Got a team of people doing the work. Although what wasn't shown is from Raynham to Faversham and Sheerness, what all had the scenery updated. So. Yeah, yeah. Hello, it goes the other unit. You can see all the different liveries now. quite a few liveries in that pack. Yeah. Even a, ro a Royal Tunbridge Wells, which is Gold Stripe. Alright, okay. So, that's that now going. <laughs> Funny mo <laughs> Yeah, Moggy, yeah. Or we could just have someone sort of shout it out. This station is. <laughs> so the PIS balls are not working, so. I've got a single yellow there. Oh, here comes another unit. So this will, this unit now heading towards us, this will be the one that will join up, I imagine. What's wrong with the cap of the blue? So I, I did check the speed limits from the list that we had. But they seemed fine, so. There you go. Oh, like you got two different liveries there as well. That's the rare 375 308 on the back. Right. So, will these actually join in this then? They will. Get rid of that. Don't need that. There you go. So that's the rare unit you were talking about. And you're saying these should join. I will check the 30 miles now, but I believe it may have been just a crossover, not the whole route between Dunhead and Crofton Park.
just got to wait for these two now. It'll be a minute or so. There's one that wants to walk in the way. <laughs> It's nice to be able to see this on a rail fan mode because I don't think this has this been done before that units join. There goes the rare unit. I don't think it's well. You can join trains, just not AI. They're the same stock as before. Although you, you get the southeastern three seven five livery pack as well. Them, it's not 55 over the junction because it's quite a sharp junction. Oh, here we go. There goes the javelins. Here we go. Come on, then. Nearly there. That's hey, the there we go. Favorite. It does look good, though. Doors now reopen. Transport flick. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying the diagrams that we had said they're different. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yes, let's have a look at the route map. Uh, I can bring it up. So that's the full route map. As I say, it's quite a lengthy one. Um, you've got Black Fries. Uh, London Victoria, um, Gravesend up this end, um, you have got Sheerness up this end with a Sheerness branch, you have got uh, Ramsgate over here, and then you've got down to Dover Priory which we did earlier down to there. So yeah, quite a, quite a lengthy area. This uh, finishes in a minute, I should think. But, um, oh hello, this uh, 375 is now departing. There we go, that's now off. Is it purely with the liveries for the South East and is it purely because they had different ideas on different liveries? Is that why there's so many different liveries or...? Well the yellow is Connex livery. Right. And then they started to phase that out so then the grey stripe was removed. Right. And then the doors were painted to blue. Yeah. Well, the, a few of them, not all of them. Yeah. So that's why there's a... there were two which had the blue doors and the blue stripe. Yeah. But then they're all changed to dark blue. Oh, I see. Right. Well, there we go. That is it for tonight. So you had a good old, uh, good preview there. Um, so we ran two scenarios. Uh, one from Faversham to Dover Priory, didn't we? And then where was the other one? I've forgotten. Uh, um, uh, somewhere to London, Victoria. <laughs> Rochester. Rochester, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not very good at that. But um, yeah, thank you, Danny, for sharing your history and telling us about it because that, that's been really helpful. Um, so it isn't a release date currently. Um, as I say, that this is I'm on a, an older build for the route, so there's there's a few things that will be in um, that will be in the uh, newer uh, route. So, uh, uh, in the newer build, um, that's currently being worked on at the moment. Um, so this this is the sort of, you know, uh, this is the latest build I had of it. Um, but yeah, so, um, but it's really good. I really like it. It's uh, great, some great units you get in there as well. So, uh, anything else you'd like to add, Danny? Or do you think? Not that I can think of. No? Brilliant. Well, there you go.
Um, that is it for tonight, chat, and uh, I will see you all uh, very soon. So, let me just check your stream for tomorrow. Let me just quickly check for you. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Your stream tomorrow is uh, the Rosa line uh, with me, Matt, and Jasper. So we got uh, the, it's the uh, Rosa line uh, new Rosa line pack, uh, and then Friday the seventeenth, you've then got uh, TSW two uh, with Clone Ark and with Matt as well. So there we go, we've got uh, some really good streams coming up. So there we go. Uh, great to see you all, and uh, we'll see you all very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.